This is the Biorgio. 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 Biorgio? Biorgio. We got it. This is the Biorgio. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have two unboxings for you. One is a ColourPop haul that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. And not a couple of weeks ago. I think it was a week and a half ago. And it just came in. And then the other one is my Sephora Play Box. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Let's start with the Sephora Play Box. So like normal, they give you like this big little handout that tells you about each product. It looks like the theme is a beautiful 2018. Like new year new resolutions and they give you a little card for 50 extra points whenever you go into the store this month oh the bag is adorable it's a girl with a little crown that is very cute i always love their little bags i never really find anything to do with them other than like when i'm traveling but i do appreciate the thought they put into the bags too so let's jump in i'm not gonna look i want to see what is here okay i feel a bottle Oh, so this is from Ole Henriksen. We got the Hi. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this. The Hige Hydra Clay Detox Mask. Let's see what the little thing says about it. Hige, repair your hair. Nope, wrong one. Mm -hmm. So detox and delight. A gentle clay mask that draws out impurities and replenishes moisture with five botanical oils. Its calming formula is perfect for sensitive skin. Oh. That sounds really nice. I could definitely use more masks. I love face masks, so I'm really excited to try this one out. So this one I kind of saw. This is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now I have heard nothing but good things about their deep conditioning mask. I believe this is the one where you can buy it in the set that comes with like the shower cap to keep it up in your hair. And I have been looking for a lot more conditioning hair masks as well. This part of my hair is bleached and it is drying out quite a bit. It is growing out, so it's only like from here down right now. Um, but it does, it is like the driest part of my hair. So I have been looking for like a nice deep hydration like hair mask to start using. So I am excited to try this one out. What do we get next? Oh, this one's from Glam Glow. We got the Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. I have heard some nice things about Glam Glow. I'm not sure about all their like hyped up like glitter masks and stuff. Um, but overall, I haven't heard anything negative about them, you know, formula wise or product wise. I do have a nice skincare routine down right now that I don't really want to detour too much from. So I'll keep this in like my little travel. Like I have a drawer over there with a bunch of samples that I use whenever I'm traveling. So I'll probably keep that in there. And if I don't use it in a couple of weeks, I'll probably pass it on. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. We got a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Now this one has been making the rounds and it's not something that I would have bought like, cause it's like, how much is it? It's like 30 something dollars. It's one of their normal primers. They don't have the price on here, but I think I'll throw, I'll go ahead and throw a picture and the price up here, but it is expensive and it's expensive enough that I wouldn't go out of my way to try it, um, full size just because it's, it's really hit and miss and you don't know exactly how your skin is going to react to it. So it is a nice size sample. It's a little bottle right there and it's supposed to be 24 hour hydration so it's supposed to plump and moisturize with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide it sets in seconds so makeup goes on fast and it's supposed to be lightweight and feel comfortable all day so i am excited to try this out i am happy that they do that like this is why i like the sephora play like box subscription because they are things that i've seen and i've heard about and i do want to try out so it is nice to get samples of things like this that i otherwise normally wouldn't have like gone out of my way to try out let's see we got like two more things in here one is from lancome this is the mascara base in sills i'm gonna i'm gonna butcher this as well sills booster xl let's see what the card says Lux lashes a creamy conditioning primer that preps lashes for smooth application and a boost of drama. I never actually tried a lash primer before. I've only ever used mascara and I like to build up two mascaras normally. I like to layer. Um, but I am willing to try this out just to see if a lash primer really does make a difference. You know, surprising, I don't think they included a fragrance this time. Normally they throw in a fragrance. 
Oh, they might be changing that. But the last thing I got in here is from Clinique and it is the Pep Start Eye Cream. Okay, according to the little booklet, it says a hydrating and brightening under eye cream that's easy to pop in your bag for pick-me-ups throughout the day. I'm not sure about keeping it in my bag throughout the day since I do wear makeup to work every day, but this is something I'm willing to try out maybe as like a morning eye cream because I do have an eye night cream. I do have a night eye cream. There we go. But it is really nice and heavy and rich, so it's not something I would wear throughout the day. So if this one is really like nice and light, it would be nice to use in the morning and I'm excited to try this one out. Okay, so like I said, for some reason we didn't get a fragrance in this one. I don't know if they're gonna stop that and just do the five samples, but normally they would do five samples and a bonus fragrance. So we'll see about that, but that's everything for the Sephora Play Box. So let's go ahead and jump into the ColourPop haul. Okay, so let's show you what the ColourPop box looks like. It is fairly full. It's got their cute packaging and their little card that they always include that shows something cute that they tend to throw on. My favorite one, the first ever ColourPop like order I ever placed, had one that said, words cannot espresso how much you mean to me. And as a deep coffee lover, I loved it. And I actually kept it and it's hanging up in like my little living room area. But this one says, you're a quality friend. And that, I just, I find these adorable and I love holding on to these and making like little collages out of them whenever I buy something. Okay, so first we have my receipt. Let's go ahead and put that over there. So I did pick up a few things that I had originally anti-hauled and a few new things and I'm just really excited to jump in. So I did pick up quite a few of the pressed single shadows. So let me go ahead and grab all of those. Oh, there's so many. Okay, so these are all the pressed singles that I got. I did, I believe, pick up like a bundle of them, but I didn't realize it was going to come like all individually wrapped. I thought the bundles would come not in a palette, but in like one of these, but bigger. <sighs> Let me see if I have the name of it on the packing slip. Yeah, so the single shadow bundle that I got was the Yin to My Yang, which includes a couple of shadows. Let me see if I can pull all those apart. Okay, so in the um, bundle called Yin to My Yang, there were six shadows. I got, let me see, this one is called Now and Zen, and it's like a clear, not a clear, and it's a nice light, it's not quite matte, it's like a nice little satin finish, let's see if I can show you. nice shimmery satiny kind of Ooh. beautiful beautiful right there so that one is called now and zen but the main reason that i picked up this bundle were for the two kind of duochrome colors one is called Glass Bowl and one is called Tea Garden. So let me go ahead and swatch those because I am really excited about those. Oh, that is stunning. So this one is Glass Bowl. Hope you can see like little reflex that are coming off. Ooh, that's beautiful, that pinky kind of shade right there. Glass bowl, and then the other one I really wanted to try out is Tea Garden, which is like a green duochrome. Oh, they're really smooth and creamy. Oh. oh, so it looks almost green, like pewter in the pan, and then when you swatch it, it goes on almost like what is it not quite brown almost like rust and you see like little flecks of green that's just a really beautiful unique shade and i believe it was this one that actually tipped me over to get this bundle instead of just buying a couple of these separately so to go with the set i did pick up a couple of other just individuals i got a nice green kind of satin called sideline i got like a purpley kind of shimmer which is called goody two shoes I got a single called High Strung, which is like a, not like quite burgundy, but kind of like a light mauve kind of shimmer. 
and two that I'm really excited about are called Save It For Later and Salt Water. Salt Water is this nice like sunset orange color. Oh, look at that. Let's swatch that one and then we'll move on. Ooh. Oh, that is stunning. That one, I cannot wait to try that one out. So, okay, so those are all the pressed singles that I got. Going against what I had originally said about Super Shock Shadows, I saw their new collection and honestly a few intrigued me and I thought, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try them out. If I don't reach for them, I'll always pass them along, but some of these shades were too pretty to pass up. So I did get a bundle and the bundle was called Times Infinity and it came with the shade Issa, the shade Frog, and the shade Whittle. So the shade Frog is one that's like pinky. It's a lot. It's really similar to my favorite Super Shock shadow, which is Sailor. Um, they did say if you liked Sailor, you would love Frog, so I did get that one. And because that one was in a bundle, I went ahead and just picked up the bundle. Because I am trying to go out of my comfort zone a little bit and do more purples. Since the color of the year is Ultraviolet. So the other two in this bundle are actually two gorgeous purples. Let me open them up. Yes, so one is called Issa. Which is this beautiful light purple. Dark purple. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. Oh. The other one from the set is called Whittle. And it's this nice light sparkly purple. Let's go ahead and swatch that one. Oh, this one feels incredibly butter. Look at that. Oh my god, that's... That. You can see little lighter purple sparkles in it. This one I'm really excited to try. And that one felt softer than like most of their Super Shock shadows. That one felt literally like butter. Okay, continuing with the Super Shock shadows, I picked up three more. One is called Dare, and it's this beautiful, really, really bright violet. Oh, look at that. Let's take a clean finger. Oh my god. That one's actually pretty similar to what's this one? The one in the middle. Issa? Whittle. So that one so Dare is actually pretty close to Whittle right there. Whittle is just a little bit darker, so if I were to be honest, if I had seen these swatched next to each other in person, I probably wouldn't have picked up both just because they are so similar, but they are both very beautiful. The last purple that I picked up was from the My Little Pony collection, and it's actually called Sunbeam, and it is a very light periwinkle kind of sparkle. Will you focus? Don't focus over there. There we go. It's a very light, nice, like, periwinkle. Let's take my pinky. Ooh. Well, you can kind of barely see it. Oh. Well, that one's almost like pure sparkly kind of glitter there, right there. But I am excited to expand my comfort zone of these purples right there. Don't they all just look so beautiful together? Okay, and now the shadow that actually got me to think twice about Super Shock Shadows and kind of spurred this entire haul is called Cusp and it's this i would almost say it's like a mermaid tail green i really want to swatch this <sighs> mm. so it does swatch oh, a lot lighter than it looks in the pan and it actually has these beautiful blue reflex in it this is one of the prettiest colors i think i've seen the green and the blue it looks like a forest in a video game that's what it looks like oh, i cannot wait to try that one out so i saw that one i saw the swatches and i knew i had to just try out this one because it looked beautiful so then it kind of spurred the rest of this haul
Okay, so moving away from the pressed and the super shock shadows, I did pick up three of their supernova shadows. Now I have heard great comparisons of these to the Stila Glitter and Glows, and I have been a huge fan of the Stila Glitter and Glows ever since I first tried them out. I have about one, two, let me have them right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually have nine of the Stila Glitter, so I love those so much. So let me see what shades. Oh, these look beautiful. Oh, look at these. I can't wait to swatch these. So, the first color that I got is called Walk of Fame, and it's kind of like an orangey, champagne-y color. Let's see. One swipe. Oh, that is beautiful. The next one I got is called Moonlit, and it looks like a magenta kind of shimmer well oh, that one it's a little dark but i do like that one and now the one i was most excited about is called mothership and it looks like a like a blue with multicolored sparkles let's see oh oh That one's actually fairly disappointing of a swatch right there. It's on the bottom. I don't know if you can tell right there, but it's a lot more patchy and like splotchy than the other two swatches. That's a little strange. It is a lot more sheer, like not as opaque as the other two colors, but it does have some really, really, but it does have some really pretty reflex in there. I wonder if you can build up that color because that really... I'm really surprised I didn't swatch as well as the other ones. Well, from far away, it kind of looks the same, but hmm. We'll, we'll see how it applies to the eyes before we do any more judgment. Okay, next I picked up three lip lippies. Three lippies. I got two of the lippies after the days of the week. I got one in Saturday, and I got the one in Friday. Ooh, these are such beautiful colors. So this is Saturday. It's like a deep, deep hole. Burgundy. Oh God. Look at that. And then Friday is actually supposed to be a, like a deep, dark green. That's actually black. I lied. So Friday is supposed to be like a deep black. So look at that right up there. Oh, and they're both ultra mattes. Okay, I also picked up, this is the green one, I picked up the shade Dr. M, which is like a teal color. I was really excited to pick this up because it's so unlike anything that I have when it comes to lips. God. Look how beautiful. I really want to try this on. Don't know. I don't know how it would go. Let's, you know what? Let's try it on. I want to try it on. Oh my god, I am loving this. Oh, it's beautiful. Like a neutral eye. Oh. Ooh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited to have this in my collection. Okay, and the absolute last thing that I got was a um, a lip trio. So when you spent over a certain amount, they gave you a choice between like a lip trio. And I don't know if it was another lip trio or an eyeshadow bundle, but I went with the You're a Gem trio. Where's my little thingy? I just got nails for like the first time, so I'm still getting used to having to open things with a thingy. So eloquent. So this comes, ooh, look at these. And then again, going with the purple. So this comes with three shades, one ultra. So it is one ultra glossy lip and then two ultra satin. So I have the ultra glossy in charming, which looks like a nice nudie shimmery shade. The ultra satin in catching feels. So it looks like a really nice nude 
like warm nude. Ooh, that one's pretty. Let me see if I can show you guys another swatch right there. It's a really nice warm nude. Be perfect for like the middle of summer. It's like a deep, like a fall orange burgundy. Like if orange and burgundy had like a little baby and made it warm and folly, then yeah. Okay, and then the last Ultra Satin Lip is in Misbehaving, which is a nice purple. So let's swatch that. Ooh. Okay, and that one is... Oh, I'm running out of room to swatch. It's right there. It's beautiful. Okay, so that is it for this like collective haul. Thank you so much for sitting through the whole thing. I'm sure it was fairly long. So if you like this video and you want to see more hauls in the future, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know. And, oh, ugh. and don't forget to leave a comment. What was your favorite thing in this haul? What are you most excited to hear about? I am excited to do like follow-up hauls. I do have a couple plans. I did do an Ulta haul and then I did do a drugstore haul. So I will do follow-ups on those first. And then of course I will follow up on all of these products as well if you would like to see that video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!